grill it in I got the bag, tell a friend She got some ass, bring it in Bitch, I'm the new CNN, yeah Hi loves, it's Robin Eve, it's your girl Lady T, and we are back, we're back, <laughs> why you say it like that? Um, we are back with an update on the Masked Singer, so this is going to be like combining three episodes because we know we have not um, recorded any updates to this series, but that is mainly because it's been all over the place. The World Series is on, so there were nights when it wasn't coming on. Yeah. And then there was nights where it would be like two-hour episodes, and we work, and it just was a lot. So we were like, we're going to wait till we can get a moment in there to just do a real mass update. So we did not talk mm -hmm. about the uh, spider, or the Black Widow, went home. Yeah. That was Raven Simone. I was very shocked. Yeah. Very, very shocked by that. I did not think it was her at all. Yeah. She did. Um, that I had thought that, remember, if you look at our, my previous videos, thought it was Amber Riley. Mm hmm. Um, Which was a very, very, very good Yeah, piece. I thought that's who it was. And so then um, the next mass segment to go home was the penguin. And was that a shocker for you? Nope, because I guess the big one and was that Sherry was Shepherd. Shepherd. Yes, yeah, so right now I'm not doing good with my guesses. <laughs> I think I've only so far guessed one. Yeah, and that was Layla Ali. <laughs> so, so yeah, so the pink one was Sherry Shepard. The next after that was the Ladybug, and that was Kelly Osborne. Now that the all of our jaws dropped. Which, but no, I swear I said that I thought it was her at the beginning. You really? No, I don't even us having even conversation about that because she did a very good job, except towards the very very end where she hit her she hit her um, British accent. Because I think she said when she revealed herself, she said it got to the point it was getting funny to her. And I think she kind of let it slip. And one of the judges actually caught it. Mm -hmm. It was like, it's like she's trying to hide her voice. Yeah. So, yeah. So she, and I was very shocked. Yeah. At too. how good her voice was, too. So yeah. she did a good job. Because Ozzy sings, but I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know Sharon sung or not. Yeah. So that was a, so really that was good a good one. one. Yeah. That and was then shocker. after that, the. Flower went home. Now, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I think we can all say with a hundred percent certainty we all knew who the flower was. Yeah. By the end of the first episode, or I forgot what episode she appeared on—the second or third. I mean, second, first or second episode. Whichever episode the flower came to super fruition on, we knew who that was. That was definitely. And Miss. from the beginning, it was Patty LaBelle. Patty LaBelle. <laughs> LaBelle. And I think they all knew it that towards the end, too, that that's who it was. So I think they one. knew it the whole time. I think the judges can't. I think they knew, but it was like, let's play around with it. Because let me tell you something. Anybody who's a fan of Patty LaBelle, her hand gestures give her away. Her voice gives her away. And then when she got revealed, she kind of said it. She didn't hide her. She didn't go her way to change her voice when she sung. So, so, yeah, that one was pretty easy. Even though I was like, oh, my God, I want the leopard to go home because I, I really want to see who it is. But I think Patty going home was kind of like, okay, because we know it's her. It's like it's Patty. not a mystery anymore. Yeah. So, moving on to who we think is next because, of course, the Mass Singer will come on Wednesday. And this will be just kind of our update on where we're at now for the upcoming episodes that are going to come on. So, who's left? So, this is who we have left, and then we'll go over who I'm just dying to see who this is. So, we have the tree. The pretty Christmas tree. Well, I call it Christmas tree. We have the butterfly. Obviously, we know what the butterfly is. Then we have the rock to Wilder. Flamingo. We also know what the flamingo is. And then we have the thingamajig, which I love his voice. The fox and the leopard. So, those who we have left. Now, out of those who I listen, who are you like? The one that you have to see. Like, you cannot wait to see who's under that mask. The thing with Jig. Um, for me, I think... I don't know, because I feel like the thing with Jig is somebody that, when they reveal themselves, they're like, oh, okay, nice voice. Oh, 
I really want to know who the um, the tree is. Well, going down the line, so starting from the, the flower with the flower petal, or, yeah. so tree. I mean, starting with the tree. Mm -hmm. So, who do you think the tree is? Is that the one you still just don't have a guess on? I do. I don't have a guess on the tree, but whoever the tree is had a very. I mean, I had a pretty rough. So I'm curious to to, to know who she is. So I don't have a name with her just yet. Well, I might have one tomorrow when we watch it. We well, for me, I think the tree is Cheryl Lee Ralph. Okay, that's who I think it is. From Dream Girls. From yeah. Dream Girls. Well, Dream from Girls. Moesha. Um, so I, I kept it. it Y'all, I do not remember what was said in the last episode that I was like, "Oh my God, I think that could be her." Um, but something caught my eye, and I feel like it was related to, um, performing, like, Broadway type of stuff like that. Yeah. And I know she does a that's lot of that. That's what it was, because we were yeah. like, Dream Girls started out mm -hmm. as a Broadway show, so that's what it was. Yeah. And this one right here, to look at a Broadway, be like, or hear a, a Broadway script, or read one, and be like, ah! Mm -hmm. That's where it goes. So, um, I, that's who I'm going with for the tree, right, as of right now. Okay. Um, so the next so one. The next one is Butterfly. We all know, well, at least us, we have not wavered for who we think the butterfly is. And we're not going to. Uh, that is definitely Michelle Williams from I Death and the Child. Thank you. And I think some of them are starting to guess that on the panel. Yeah. That is Michelle. Yeah. Um, some think it's Kelly, but it's Death. And it, it, it makes sense to think it's Kelly because they're in that group together, so their voices. You know, when they do their harmonizations, you kind of don't know really who's who, but no, it's definitely Michelle. Michelle Williams' voice stands out to like a uh, something, something, something. I don't know what stands out, but it's not Kelly. Mm -hmm. Um, next, the Rottweiler. Who do you think that is? The Rottweiler is definitely one thousand percent Chris Daughtry. That's who it is. Okay. Everyone's gonna be like, I'm crazy, but. That, I'm telling you, that's who it is. There was, not last episode, but the episode before last, when he came out and was singing, mm -hmm. and he hit a note, I said, oh, that's Chris. It's him. It is him. So, that's who I think it is. So, I definitely have changed my vote, because I think I was going towards thinking it was AJ from Backstreet Boys, but no, it is Chris. I think it's Jay-Z Chavez. J.C. Chavez. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's him. I definitely think he is part, he is in part or formerly part of uh, some type of um, boy band just by his clues. I can't, we usually write down, I re write down the clues and I don't have my book in front of me. But I do remember me putting, he's definitely part of an ex band mm -hmm. because of the dancing and he just seems to be so coordinated when he dances with his uh, background dancer. So that's who I think that is. Next we have the Flamingo. Flamingo is definitely Adrian Balloon, Halton, <laughs> from The Real, and from The Cheetah, Cheetah Girls, and 3LW. It's definitely her. It I'm is. very shocked that she's beat out Raven. That's very funny. That she's yeah, because, I, and I'm, uh, honestly, let me go back. I'm shocked that Raven went home, because I didn't think she did the worst that episode. Mm -hmm. And for me, she was at the top as far as the best voices. So, I don't know. I just think because she did a really fun song and everyone kind of did more memorable songs. I really feel like that's why she yeah. went home. Um, but I think you do you think it's kind of getting off it um, that they get tired. So, they just kind of like sabotage mm -hmm. and going home. Probably. I think like Pat the Bell did. Yeah. She was, she, I think it was like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm legendary. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do fun <laughs> games. So, who do you think? Um, oh, you think the Flamingos definitely? Girl, Asian. Absolutely. So who's the next <laughs> thingamajig? Now thingamajig for me, I feel like he is a NBA player, mm -hmm. and I'm, I cannot. Yeah. Put, I've changed every time this man opens his mouth. I change what I think it is. I still think it's an NBA player. I can't say if it's new or old or what, mm -hmm. but his voice, I think he has the best voice. Yeah, this season, his voice is so. Ugh. Well, between him and the fox, for me. Yeah. Well, no, even the Rottweiler. 
Those yeah, three. yeah, they got the best voice. Yeah. Out, of, out of the remaining, definitely got, has the best voice. But his voice to me, like I just can't wait for him to open his mouth. But mm -hmm. um, so I, I can't. I change who it is. Probably tomorrow, I, I probably will pick one and settle, and then I'll ride him to the end. But not ride him to the end. But you know what I mean. Who do you think? So it is? You know what I'm saying? Who you, the last person you know? I, um. You know, for a minute, I said Dennis Rodman. You did say, kept saying Dennis Rodman. Mm -hmm. I kept going back and forth because at first I thought it was like Chris Webber or something. Mm -hmm. But I'm the last thing I thought was I think that it's um, Dwight Howard. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. That was my last guess. That was your last. Okay. Mm -hmm. That was that was your last guess. Well, we'll probably be changing our guesses when we hear you sing tomorrow. And and then we have the Fox. Now, for me, the fox is Jamie Foxx. Mm -hmm. And I know people are like, well, why have they had the fox be Jamie Foxx? I think to throw you off. Mm -hmm. Because they're like, oh, that'd be obvious that Jamie Foxx. He sounds like him. Yeah, he, he does. He sings like him. And just a little bit of his clues, I was like, that is Jamie Foxx. Because it was something with his name. It was something about that the name that he has is not his actual name. And we all know that Jamie's possible name is, I think, Eric. Yeah. Uh -oh. Jamie Fox is not his name. Yeah, he changed his name when he became came in the game. Well, for me, I am sticking with the Fox being Wayne Brady. That's who I think the Fox is. I'm 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 twenty five percent because Oh, and he opened his mouth. He sounds like both he of them. Does, but he does sound like Jamie Foxx. I will admit that totally. And I feel mm -hmm. like Wayne Brady, you know he does a lot of impressions yeah. and stuff like that. So I do think it could be him kind of trying to throw his voice a little bit. He would He would definitely. Him, you know what I'm saying? If it's, if it's Wayne Brady or Jamie Foxx, they're the perfect ones to really throw you off. Mm -hmm. I think if it's Jamie Foxx to throw you off with the whole thing being a fox, mm -hmm. but Wayne Brady, like I said, he's a he's a man of different hats. Mm -hmm. And then some of the clues last time kind of gave you the indication that it could have been more leaning towards Wayne Brady. Yeah. yeah. So we both literally got clues out of his last package, but my clues for me were more on Jamie Foxx and mm -hmm. hers than Wayne Brady. So. The, I would say the Fox is someone too I'm actually looking forward to seeing. Yeah. Who is right? I'm going with Jamie Foxx. She's going with Wayne Brady. So. Yeah. And then we have the last, this confusing leopard. Let me tell you something. He's entertaining, whoever he is. Um, I, I like, it's Billy Porter. I love, I always, I don't want to say, I, I love his dress. Mm -hmm. I love his dress. Um... Billy Porter, I I had some, I didn't I didn't, wasn't familiar with him, so I looked him up, and I was like, oh god, it could be because then the dress, it's obvious another obvious thing because he wore an outfit similar to the dress he has on the show. All it the was time, Billy though, Porter, like on the red carpet. He always okay, so he always like wears that. dress. Okay, yes, yeah, so I think we did discuss that. So, um, <sighs> go ahead and say who you think it is. Who did I say? You think it's RuPaul? <sighs> well, you said RuPaul. I did say RuPaul. But then, his voice don't sound like RuPaul. I, I mean, I'm probably about 35% with Billy Porter. But then, um, I don't know, y'all. I'm, I'm really, you say your entity thing, which is? Yeah, because he's the only one that I don't really have a name for right okay. now. See, the leopard stole me up because he has a very. But unique don't you watch me not saying another person? Because I can't put my finger on a person with him. Mm. Because at one point I thought about Dennis Robin too. Yeah, you did say Dennis Robin. I don't know. Yeah. Dennis Robin somewhere in this freaking season. <laughs> he's either that leopard or he's thinking with Jig. Well, we'll see. We'll so see. you guys let us know your predictions and we'll see what happens on the next episode. We'll probably try to come back up with another update before the following episodes come on. Or, you know, not not the episode coming on this week, but probably the one coming on next week. So, let us know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification button. Bye, loves.